Last time on So, Yolanda threatened to cut Sherman into little pieces and feed him to her maid if he failed to save the company. The employees are being sucked increasingly into an alternative universe in their desperate attempts to save their livelihoods. But is it too late to save their tarnished souls? Of celebrity for you to read. Well, I'd better get back to the office. Oh, yes, do. Now, darling, you mustn't worry either. Klaus has got it all worked out. But what about how? Oh, he's, um... stable. You killed my father! Don't spoil the party, son. Stop calling me son, you shit! You killed him! But you are. What? You, you, you are my son. How? I am your father. As you're in control. And there's always my dear old friend, Klaus. Who? What you have done, sir, in the name of love, is understandable. Well, I never meant to hurt anyone. I never killed anyone. I might have massaged a few figures and moved a few goalposts, but uh, everybody does that today. If, if you don't, you're considered a wanker and you get left in the dust. What's to become of me, Klaus? What's to become of my Yolanda? Built this empire on guts and belief. Without it, I don't know what I believe in. You believe in love. Yeah. But she doesn't love me anymore. I've let her down. She cares more for her maid than she does for me. That may well be. But the game's not over yet. You still have time to change the end score. <laughs> <laughs> Will we ever find out whose breasts suffocated Gobbler in a deathly lap dance? Will our mystery murderer succeed in laying Sherman six feet under, or will the law put him behind bars? Now that Howell has learned he's Sherman's son, does evil have a new heir? Stay tuned for more devilish installments of So. So is a wonderful feeling, you love what you're reading. Wonderful world of souls. So, so, so.